This is Twit. This, yeah. this is a new feature for yes. Assistant. It's, a, according to The Verge, a combination of a to-do list, a notes app, a pocket-like reading list, a Pinterest-style collection board, into a single overarching digital locker integrated into the broad, broader Google Assistant app. So it's not, it's not out yet. It, as you said, Mike, it's being dog-fooded at Google. Uh, boy, I, I would... I, and they also have Google Stack. That's somewhere in the rundown. I put it in there. What's that I would do? like to see stack combined with the memory. So stack is you take your 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 old fashioned Physical paper papers, right? And and you put it in there, and it will it will wisely know where to put stuff. Oh, that's a receipt. That's yeah. a business card. That's a this. That's a that. That's that's how um, it should work. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, really, yeah. if anything, Google's disappointed us because it you know in theory, if you take a picture with Google Photos, it'll know receipts and it'll. It could categorize it. It mm -hmm. doesn't seem to do what it sh as much of it as it could or should do. Do you think people are scared? It's it's they're scared of the appearance of being over. Well, they will be at some point because somebody you know on some somebody in Congress reporter will. That would know, that's well, what then, would then make they'll me next sad. say. Then they'll next say how did they'll put a stories up how to how quit know? memory how did it know how right. to get out <laughs> but and, and that makes problem, me sad. Though. I would like to. I will. I will acknowledge your right to insist on privacy. More power yep. to you, but don't let your adamant uh, search for privacy impinge on my interest in, in giving them more information. That should also be right. possible without right. Google like, being castigated. It's like vegans picking on me for eating meat. Yeah, don't pick on me. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how it comes <laughs> off. Yeah, it does. <laughs> well, the, the, the problem the problem for Google though is that you could categorize people into three camps, right? There's the there, there's the general public which doesn't care enough to make any effort to capture this information for their lives. There are the privacy advocates who are somewhat technolo technology oriented, who who oppose it because it feels like a privacy in, uh, invasion. And then the remainder should be the market for this kind of thing. Unfortunately, those people are all too aware of the fact that Google gives up on things and closes them. Well, that's true. And so you, you wouldn't want to use left. them to life log if they're going to give up in a couple of years. Personally, I am Charlie Brown. I will kick that football again yeah, and too. again and again as I've done in the past. <laughs> but but most people are not like that. So I, I wonder about the market for this. Mike, I thought of you the other day. I, there was there was a post I wrote some time ago. I can't remember what it was about. But the discussion continued on Google+. Plus. And I had links to the discussion there and all the things we're saying. Of course, it's gone now. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's, it's one thing we have to do as a society. Uh, I was working on this for the Gutenberg book is decide what to remember. Yeah. And there's a, yeah. there's a great book called, do I have it here? No, that's not it. Uh, there's a great book called, uh, this is not the end of the book in which Umberto Eco and two other people have a dialogue. And Echo says that culture is about deciding what to remember, what to forget. Oh, that's good. Right? Which like novels do we remember? Culture yeah. decides right. that. Yeah. And it's and we need that decision about this because we're losing so much of our of our current heritage because it's, it's all ephemeral. And, yeah. and so what do we choose to keep and not keep with privacy considered, with you know, your own future history considered, with these issues considered, but but there's there's such value. In 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 recognizing what our lives are about, that we're losing so the, in so the, society. Exactly the life logging uh, life logging vision, which was uh, advanced by a whole bunch of people since the fifties, was you would capture everything you read, everything you you know. And Gordon the, Bell you, every, used to Gordon from, Bell from Microsoft. Jack, yeah, uh, he used to wear a and he was then a Microsoft fellow. We used to wear a ca camera around his neck and it would shoot a picture every se ten seconds or so. And he had the idea yeah. was, and he was inspired that. by the way to do this because his wife Gwen Bell, uh, who died of Alzheimer's, was forgetting everything. And, yes. and he wanted a way to remember everything. Uh, and I, yes. I think that that was inspired. But the problem is, you're, not, I, you're exactly right, Mike. I, I'm not Charlie Brown. I'm not kicking this football. The, the last thing you want to do is, is choose any company's repository for this. I would look for, and I think there are good open source solutions that you can store yourself in a format that you can read even if that dies. You should be looking for things that you do you know, uh, uh, yeah. you know, people in Emacs lovers use org mode. Um, there are note-taking yeah. apps that are very good. 
uh, I, I really fell in love with Rome at romeresearch.com. But when I realized that it's really hosted on their servers, I started looking for alternatives that are I host. Uh, I'm using a note-taking app called Obsidian now, which does it in Markdown, has many of the same features, is really designed for this kind of life logging. Uh, very easy data entry. You can put anything in it. I need to it, look into that. you host it, ObsidianMD. Dot com. Well, let me tell you about the last, and to, to emphasize your point, <laughs> uh, the last football I kicked was Google Plus itself. So we were talking about Google yeah. Plus. I actually, I actually used Google Plus as a life logging uh, service. What I did was with Google Plus, you could, you could uh, determine the public or private nature of every post. And so yeah. I was using Google Glass and I was taking pictures of everything. And then I would go through photos and things that I was capturing and about... 60% of them I kept 100% private. I was the only person who could look at them because they were, you know, the th kinds of things I wanted to remember in this linear thing. Remember, search on Google Plus was great. So you could search, what was that thing two years ago? You could search mm -hmm. and find it very easily. And so I actually used Google Plus as a life log. And I think that was fantastic because there are things you want to, you know, to have a single stream where some of it is public, some of it is semi-public, where it's just family members or whatever, and some of it is just private for life logging. You want the, both the public and the private stuff to be in your life log, right? Not just the yeah. private stuff. You want yeah. the public and the private stuff. And so I thought that was pretty good. You know, that was 70% of what I wanted in a life logging app. This is the combination of these two things, and who knows if they'll ever combine them. Probably not. But if they did, I would this would be... The, the Google Keep versus the stack that Mr. Jarvis brought up a second ago, it, it seems like those two could pretty much be one and the same, right? It, yeah, the memory of the documents yeah, sounds like Keep, like yeah. So this is yeah. what I'm using, and this is what I would use, which is something that is going to be, this is an open source, but the format it saves everything in is Markdown. So you, you can always use another tool. Um, it does what it does is, which is cool, is a knowledge is a map like this. Oh, it does dude. internal linking, so it's very easy to create a backlink just by putting it in uh, bra brackets. It's a just like that. This is becomes a link. Uh, I think it's really, really good. There are lots of community plugins, very active community. It's Obsidian.md. I've been looking. I haven't, you know, I've been looking for the right way to do this, and I think you need to host the data. The data needs to be in a format that can be read even if the app mm -hmm. disappears. I'd prefer it were, if it were closed source, I mean open source, but still it is Windows, Mac, Linux, um, and it's going to go on iOS and Android soon. So this is, uh, to I me, think, this is a I good I think the opportunity for this project. sort of thing is in augmented reality. So the, the key is not the capturing of data. That's actually relatively easy. It's how you look at Mapping it. Mapping it and all that stuff yeah. is a little bit harder. And yeah. then the ability to quickly recover what you're looking for is the really hard part. So I would love to see some something like this that's open source that you control the data, but which could be conjured up with your eyeglasses while you're walking around. Uh, well, you, you know, got to start by recording it, I think, and then it's just a matter of the, the, the interface to your glasses. <laughs>